Welcome to Electron Online. Our next example is the natural log of x divided by x minus 1. We're trying to find the limit of that as x approaches 1. So let's go ahead and plug in the limit and see what happens. So this would be equal to the natural log of 1 divided by 1 minus 1. And of course the natural log of 1 is equal to 0. So this is equal to 0 divided by 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have a 0 divided by 0 condition which is, which is undefined. So let's try again by taking the derivative of the numerator and the denominator and then taking the limit and see what happens. So we should be able to say that the, that the limit as x approaches 1 of the natural log of x divided by x minus 1 is equal to the limit as x approaches 1 of the derivative of the numerator, so the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x, divided by the derivative of the denominator, which would be uh, the derivative of of x that would be equal to 1 minus 1. Oh, no, uh, that would be a problem, of course, 1 minus 1. The derivative of minus 1 is simply 0, so the denominator, the derivative of the denominator is simply 1. So let me go ahead and put it over here. 1 over x divided by 1, that means the limit as x approaches 1 of 1 over x. Now we can go ahead and plug in the limit because when plug in a 1 for x, this is equal to 1 divided by 1, which is equal to 1, and that is a legitimate limit. So again, quickly here, to take the derivative of the denominator, that would be equal to 1 minus 0, or simply 1 for the denominator. Again, Le Hopital's rule comes to the rescue. If we can't find the limit, use Le Hopital's rule and see if you then turn into a format that you can find the limit of. And that's how it's done.